hello guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl amita mitra back again with another video i hope you're keeping safe at home i hope you're washing your hands clean i hope you are sanitizing because this virus is real guys kindly take care of yourselves now today i'm here to talk about this saga going on in the country right now this saga of celebrities, managers, bosses sexually harassing their clients in exchange for attention. The case in point is producer Andre and I want us to follow this narration very well. Some of us don't know what is going on and like need to follow this story to dot. So allow me give you the narration very well. And at the end of all this, we are going to know who is fooling who. Earlier this week, an upcoming artist known as Nadia Rania came out and told us that producer Andre has made her breakthrough into the music industry extremely hard. She says earlier this year, she approached producer Andre, also known as Daddy Andre, also known as Andre on the beat. She, pro she approached him on grounds of producing her a song. Andre wrote the song for her and of course requested her to go back in which she went back and recorded the song. Andre told her that her voice was so smooth and fantabulous and requested her to go back in a few days and pick the audio. When, and, uh, when Nadia went back uh, for the audio, she found that producer Andre had added his voice into the song. She somehow was excited that she was finally going to do well in the music industry since a celebrated artist and producer had collaborated with her. She then requested that they should work on the video as well as fast as possible. Andre asked this lady for money which was needed to put all this together and of course the lady paid the money. Now the lady says that after her paying this money, producer Andre requested that the lady gives him some other favors, which the lady refers to as sexual favors. The lady refused to do as requested, and Andre kept on tossing her here and there about the video until today. <clears throat> so, the lady claims that producer Andre has refused to work on her video shoot because he wants her to first sleep with him, something she is not going to do and not ready to do. So she came out to speak to the nation through the press with an aim of finding justice. Probably her money should be returned back or her song should be given back to her. When the media talked to producer Andre, this man clearly had nothing to say about this accusation. He instead said that he had taken the matters to his lawyers and that they were handling that and also emphasized that Nadia Rania is blackmail blackmailing him in partnership with her manager, meaning Nadia Rania collaborated, I mean, uh, came together with her manager to blackmail producer Andre. That is what producer Andre says. He also says that he will battle it out with them in court since they have decided to tarnish his name. Although I personally saw a lot of guilt in producer Andre, if, if any of you watched that video on TV, of producer Andre giving us his part of the story. Of course, he didn't give us his part of the story, but he kept saying his lawyers were handling and they went to battle it up in court, blah, 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 blah. I personally saw a lot of guilt in this guy's face. I mean, everything he was saying um, seemed to be arranged and he was, anyway, to me he was guilty. That's That's my thought. I don't know about you guys. So this guy clearly refused to admit that he had sexually harassed an upcoming artist. Before the day broke, another upcoming artist from Kasese also came out and accused producer Andre for sexually harassing her in the same manner. Before I even proceed, Ugandans, we all know hmm, 
and it is on record that ladies from Kasese don't lie. Batoro don't lie, you guys. Are they Batoro from Kase? Hey, yeah, yes, they are Batoro from Fort Kase. Yeah, I'm mixing up things. But anyway, those those ladies from that side don't don't lie. That is one thing I know about them. I know a few friends who are from Kasese, Fort Poto, blah blah. But these guys are so honest. That's the most honest part of the country we all know. So, this lady by names of Jepafra reached out to the media and said she had her own share of Daddy Andre's sexual harassment even after paying him 1.5 Uganda, sorry, 1.5 million Ugandan shillings, yes, 1.5 million. Ah, so, she said she paid Andre 1.5 million Ugandan shillings for his services. I mean, she needed a song recorded, written and recorded by producer Andre. So he asked for 1.5 million, which this lady paid. And uh, she also claimed that producer Andre's studio is opposite his bedroom. And therefore, every time he is done with attending to his female clients in the studio, he takes them straight to his bedroom that is just opposite the studio. And his and she said that this bedroom has a coach like bed, like it is inside of a couch and then it's turned into a bed. I don't know about those beds. I, I normally watch them in movies. But then we are yet to know. We'll know we'll see this bed. I I'm I'm sure somebody will take a picture of this bed and give it to us. So Jepafra also came, claimed that um, producer Andre at one time traveled to Kasese and requested her to spend a night with him so as to release her song. Imagine, imagine this. Who even does this? Anyway, now yesterday, a Nigerian upcoming artist also came out live on TV and confessed that producer Andre sexually harassed her as well twice during her st studio recording sessions. She says the first time she went for a recording and as soon as that was done, she requested to use the washrooms. But to her surprise, after using the washrooms, she found producer Andre waiting for her and boom, threw her to his bed and tried to sexually abuse her until she fought for her own life she claims the same thing happened to her on the second visit of recording but she still overpowered producer andre because she does not entertain nonsense now guys what does this show us this could be the same thing producer andre does to almost all the female upcoming artists that come to his studio for work because you can't tell me three people can okay maybe maybe not of course people can come up and 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 try to spoil your name and all that but then in this case anyway let's see how the story is going to unfold and if we also listen to angela katatumba's explanation of how she fell in love with producer andre it's almost the same storyline at this moment, we even think that Angela Katatumba was one of those victims who thought this sexual harassment was an affection and instead fell in love blindly. I personally don't want to take sides, but if producer Andre is guilty for all these accusations, the best he can do right now is to apologize to the nation and also drop his court drama. And if these ladies are trying to tarnish producer Andre's name, then they should come out and apologize as well. Otherwise, if at all, at the end of all this, this drama finds producer Andre guilty, then Saba Andre accumulate because this is out of hand. I mean, how many upcoming artists are you going to bed just to give them what they want on, on on top of that they are paying you they're giving you their hard-earned money you know you know how ladies look for money you guys and then at the end of it all you want to get her something something and also take advantage of it 
anyway um i'm going to try getting this clip where angela katatumba was explaining how much she fell in love with producer andre and all that and we will all determine we will all look at this thing scrutinize it and know whether this was love affection or this was uh, daddy andre no calling you daddy andre so yeah he's insisting there for like two months so i'm to gain it so again our daddy andre uh with me to me to recording uh tony rabida uh then zene daddy andre we liked each other <laughs> which never gained our life <laughs> daddy andre um <laughs> The song was written and produced and recorded everything by Daddy Andre. Message Yange for Valentine's to Andre is um Webale Kuandika Uriimbu Lulunji. Tonera is a beautiful song. Uh Najaga Dinyo. Ate and Jagala Mwevaza for being so talented and a great producer, great musician, great singer. And uh, I pray that we can continue to make great music together. We actually fell in love while writing this song, Tonera Vida. Um, and I want to tell Andre that I thank him for his amazing talent. And Andre, I love you very much. So I pray that all the people listening to Tony Davida um, enjoy their love. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss every time I post. I love you all, guys. Don't forget to wash your hands in this very tough time. Wash your hands, sanitize, and keep at home. Don't move. Where are you going? Keep at home. Stay home. I love you all. And... Bye-bye. See you in my next video.